Well, certainly uh, the show opened with a bang, as you said. Nelly Furtado has been out of the spotlight for a little while, but she returned in grand style, this mega music montage, all of her hits. She's back on stage, seemed comfortable, seemed to be enjoying herself. I was there at the Scotiabank Center right behind me to hear that roar as she took to the stage. And you could just see the smile on her face when she finished performing and introduced herself to uh, Halifax. So that was amazing to see. She was followed by Anne Murray. Think of Snowbird, think of so many Canadian classics. So to go from Nelly Furtado to Anne Murray and really women in music and kind of powerful pop stars have been one of the big through lines of the Junos uh, this week. So wonderful to see Anne Murray who remembered the first Junos. That is how long she has been around. But Anne Murray herself introduced the category Group of the Year and the winning band was that powerful group of women from Toronto, The Beaches, with that mega hit, Blame Breath, that has rocketed them up the charts. And they accepted the award with a message. Take a look. We're so happy to be here. Thank you so much. To all the young girls watching, go start bands with your best friends. Thank you. Now, this year's talent is incredibly diverse, Eli. What are you hearing from the artists? I think one of the big stories in Canadian music and really music around the world right now is the borders are coming down. There's more and more global sounds on all of the music charts. Look at what happened at the Junos with Karen Angela, who's this amazing Canadian Punjabi uh, power pop kind of hip hop artist who performed his hit softly last night. He actually won the Fan Choice Award. So that shows you the power of Punjabi music, which has been exploding coming out of Canada. And then another great uh, example of diversity and representation in the Canadian music music scene is what's happening with Indigenous artists. Take a listen to what Ojuno award-winning songwriter Jeremy Dutcher had to say. Let's talk about the numbers. Yeah. When I was in uh, London in 2019, six nominees. Right. We got 33 this year. 33. In many categories, not just the Indigenous categories. Every, Hello, yeah. right? So it's like, that's the shift. That's the transformation. Right. And it's like, it's something to celebrate. And, and tonight we're here to celebrate it. Amazing stuff. Two more winners for you. Talk winning Breakthrough Artist of the Year and Charlotte Cardin with your Album of the Year. Erica? Eli Glasner clearly enjoying himself at the Junos in Halifax tonight.